Question 18. A dice is thrown 50 times. The number shown on the dice is recorded after each throw. The table below shows the results recorded. So the number on the dice shown is at the top, ranging 1 to 6, and the frequency is how many times that number was rolled. So the dice was rolled 50 times, so if we add up all of these, that will give us 50 throws. Nine of those throws, they threw a 1. Seven times um, a 2 came up. Eight times a 3 came up. Seven times a 4 was rolled. Six times a 5 was rolled. And the number 6 came up 13 times. The relative frequency of throwing a 1 was calculated as 9 out of 50. So that means that a 1 came up 9 times out of the total 50 throws. So that then is 9 out of 50, and probability can be written as a fraction, decimal, or a percentage, remember. So as a decimal, 9 over 50 would be 0 0.18. What was the relative frequency of throwing a 6? Give your answer as a decimal. So the 6 is here, and that was rolled 13 times. So probability is total outcomes on the bottom and successful. outcomes on the top. So the successful outcomes would be how many times the 6 was rolled, so that would be 13 out of the total, well the dice was thrown 50 times, so that would be 13 out of 50. To turn that into a decimal, use your calculator and we'll type 13 divided by 50, sorry, divided by 50 equals 0 0.26. And that would give you one mark. You won't get any marks at all if you've written 13 over 50 because the question stated specifically to give your answer as a decimal. So part B. The number 4 was thrown 7 times in the first 50 throws. Using this fact, that's in bold there, that's quite important. Using this fact, that the 4 was thrown 7 times, calculate how many times you would expect a 4 to be thrown when the dice is thrown 3,000 times. So this is talking about expected probability now. So to work out expected probability, you take the number of trials, or the number of times that the dice is thrown, and you times it by the probability. So the probability that we roll a 4, they've said to use this fact. The number 4 was thrown 7 times in the first 50 throws. So that means the successful outcomes was 7 out of 50. So that's the probability of throwing a 4 according to this fact here and it says that the dice was thrown 3,000 times so that's our number of trials so we're going to times that by 3,000 so if you have that sum written down even if you had the final answer incorrect the examiner would give you one mark because you've shown them that you know how to calculate expected probability so how would we do this now? If it was a non-calculator, we'd use the step 1 divide by the bottom and step 2 times by the top. So we could say 3000 divided by 50 equals 60. So this is step one now, 3,000 divided by 50, divided by the bottom number, equals, sorry, equals 60. And then step two, with that answer, I have to times by the top. So 60 times by the top number, which is seven, 
And again, we can use the calculator now. 60 times 7 equals 420. And that would be the number of times you would expect to see a 4. And that would be your final mark for the two marks there. Another way to do this on the calculator is instead of using step 1 and step 2, is actually writing 7 over 50 times 3,000. So on a Casio calculator, you can write a fraction using this button here. Click on that, and then that symbol appears on your screen. So the cursor is in the top box now, meaning you can write in the numerator, the top number of your fraction, and that's 7. So to write the bottom number in, bring your cursor down, so that's in the bottom there, and then you type 50. To get out of the fraction, you need to press the arrow button, and then you're going to type times 3,000. Make sure you get the right amount of zeros. And that will give you the same answer as 420. If you're using a score calculator, one of the logic ones, then the fraction button is a little bit different. It's around the same place, um, but it looks like this. A, B, forward slash, C. So you could type um, 7 as your top number, then type the fraction button, and on the calculator, to show your fraction line, and on the calculator on the screen, you'll see a symbol that looks like that. And that tells you that you're going into the bottom of your fraction then. So just type 50, and then times 3000. And that will give you the same answer. You could also do 7 divided by, because the fraction line means divided by. So 7 divided by 50 equals, this button just changes it from a fraction to a decimal, and then times by 3000. And that gives you the same answer as well. So three different methods you can use to, to work that out. Uh, part C. How many times would you expect a four to be thrown when a fair dice is thrown 3,000 times. So the difference in this question is it says a fair dice. So this time we need to know the probability of rolling a 4 on the fair dice. So instead of using that fact, that within those 50 times the 4 came up 7 times, we're going to use the fact that the standard probability of getting a 4 on a die. So again, we're looking at successful outcomes over total outcomes. Well, the total outcomes, there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or a 6 on a die. So the bottom is going to be a 6. How many 4s are there? There's 1. So the probability of getting a 4 on a fair dice is 1 over 6. And now again, with expected probability, we times the probability by the number of trials. So the number of times they're asking us to throw the dice is 3,000. So this time it's going to be 1 over 6 times 3,000. And you can use any of those methods above. So if we just say 1 divided by 6 to do the fraction equals, this button just turns it back into a decimal, and then times that by 3,000. And that will give you 500. Again, the examiner will give you one mark just for writing that sum because you know how to work out expected probability and one mark there for your final answer of 500.